I don't even want to touch this. It's just upsetting me that it's even a product. Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Welcome to the first video of 2020. And to celebrate, I wanted to get you something nice. So here we have a big old karaoke speaker. Well, I shouldn't call it old. It's brand new in the box. And we're gonna be busting into this thing and seeing just what the heck is going on. So at first glance, you might think I have a DJ speaker here, but really this is just a glorified iPod dock. We have a 15 inch woofer and well, I don't even know what kind of tweeter is in here. Hopefully it's like some kind of compression driver, but it's most likely a piezo. So before I go too far, let's look at this box a little bit. We have, well, the big Bluetooth logo blue LED backlight. This actually confused me when I first saw it. I thought it said black light, as in the, like a UV light, but uh, I'm guessing they're talking about the little display on here. I shouldn't be pointing with my knife, that's creepy. <laughs> with the VEC karaoke microphone. That's actually French, they forgot to translate the other part of this. Wireless Bluetooth, stereo sound, even though this is a mono speaker. Hi-Fi speaker, long-lasting recharge, what? There's a battery in this damn thing. That's cool. Uh, USB charging, 3.5 millimeter, millimeter auxiliary input. <laughs> Has a remote on this thing, little SD card player it seems like. Other than that, there's not too much going on in the box. So in the fine print, I'm actually seeing that this is labeled as 40 watts. A powerful rechargeable battery keeps the party going, but it's only 7.4 volts. My Monster Rambler Bluetooth speaker actually had a 12 volt battery in it, and it was tiny compared to this. Okay, enough with this stupid box. Oh, that smells so... Chinese like oh this smells terrible like brand new it's like new car smell but it's like a lot worse all this plastic you got the little remote here's our microphone wonder if there's cement inside One of the worst quarter inch to XLR cables I've ever seen in my damn life. <laughs> and don't tell me this is the charger for it. <laughs> so this little power supply is running this gigantic DJ speaker here. It's a, <laughs> it's nine volts, 1.2 amps. Wow, that's crazy power. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh my god. I always wanted to check one of these out because I knew they were bad, but I never really looked close. This is bad. And, oh, oh, piezo tweeter too. <laughs> That's going to be terrible. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Antenna on the back. Oh man. I have to sit my ass down for this one. So my first impressions of this thing is it's pretty terrible. We have this uh, really light microphone. Maybe I'll do a drop test on it and see how many times I can drop it before it stops. Little remote batteries not included. Oh, I, I don't even want to touch this. It's just upsetting me that it's even a product. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that shit? <laughs> All right, 
let's see if it powers up. Hi-fi! Nice. So I hear hissing from the tweeter even though none of the inputs are turned up yet. Oh, here we go, light switch. Oh, mag magnificent. What the... I don't even know what to... Honestly, I don't know what to think of this. <laughs> I mean, it's not even in there straight for Christ's sakes. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> so I guess everything's at the front. Mic in. Chick one. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. Okay, that sounds horrible. That can't be. That can't be what. No, oh my god. You can't adjust the bass or the treble for the microphone. So I guess that's just for the music. Check one, two. Oh my god, it's rattling. No, that's this. Sorry, it's on this little bench. Ladies and gentlemen. Nope. Oh my god, it is the speaker. It was the speaker. That is so pathetic. <laughs> so this is a test of the karaoke microphone with the Sylvania DJ speaker. Wow, it's like uh, fucking amazing, isn't it? All right, so as I found out here, the microphone is its own thing. It uh, does not go with the main volume or anything. It does not have any equalizer settings. It just is. This is the best it gets, and if you start singing in this microphone, I bet it's gonna shit the bed. <laughs> this whole thing's just rattling, and I sound like a cheap bingo hall right now. <laughs> it's not even turned up that loud, and it just sounds like a kid's karaoke machine. Bluetooth mode. Radio mode. Lie in. Bluetooth mode. They must, they took like different sounds from every cheap speaker. It's not the same voice. Radio mode. So in the Bluetooth, it is actually labeled the SPA 151. That's something they usually neglect to do. <laughs> Bluetooth connected. So I'm going to put the treble and the bass just in the unity position or directly pointing up to the top. Flat. <laughs> Thing cranked and it's rattling I don't see the speaker moving no bass at all yeah that's a lot worse than I thought it would be I def I've had little tiny handheld speakers that have gotten louder than this thing by far it's not that good <laughs> we all knew that though we knew what was coming, I just didn't think it was this terrible. The honking screw on that. Oh, it goes right through the woofer uh, frame. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can hardly get this woofer going at all. Try a very low bass frequency. Oh, I can feel a lot of air. It's all pushing out of, uh... Oh, the ports. Okay. That's alright. <laughs> it's not too bad for a 7 watt battery though, really. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god. It's a beautiful thing. Wow. This is a lot worse than I expected. A lot worse than I ever could have thought it could be. Like, this is insane. I mean, the product wasn't worth that much, but how they. Oh. Oh, I hear solder bouncing around in there too. So they're using the same sort of 
plastic cabinet as a real PA speaker, I'm actually able to thread that piezo tweeter out of there. Although I need to unsolder it first. Okay, I got my handheld camera here. Let's take a closer look inside here. Now, <laughs> I assume this is where the original sealed lead acid sort of battery would have gone. This is empty. And instead we have a couple, uh, I thought they were 18650s, but looking now, I'm not too sure. It's like a just a big lithium cell, I think. We do have some crossover components on the piezo tweeter to make it a little better on the ears. However, it's still not a great solution. Time to see what's in this amplifier board. Actually, wait a second. It said blue LED backlight on the box and it's a red backlight. I just realized that. I've been ripped off. <laughs> They tried to ground out these potentiometers here. It did not work for noise interference though. So here are all the electronics. There is nothing else inside this thing other than the radio antenna. Definitely not enough power to move this woofer, but it could be good for something, just not this. Oh, would you look at that? It actually does have the pole mount for a professional tripod. <laughs> Little red skateboard wheels, all plastic. Ah, uh, there's the radio antenna on the back. <laughs> no, I think the handle pulls out so it turns into like a suitcase. Oh, holy shit, what? I broke it. Really? Okay. Fuck that. Already we got a bunch of cracks in this cabinet. The wheels are fun though. Oh, it still works. Bluetooth Ooh. connected. I dropped it off the bench and the woofer looks like it's bent to shit now. <laughs> That's a very brittle plastic on this. <laughs> There's one wheel. Get the other one off.
My TV is the same brand name as this stupid thing. Absolutely thought I broke my TV there. So now I'll be doing a mic drop test. Microphone still working after two drops. <laughs> Still working. A little rattly, but it's working. There we go. Now we have an exposed diaphragm. <laughs> and there we go. No more of that, I don't think. Nope. Bad idea. Oh, we got that concrete stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we're back. It's actually a day later because I totally forgot I had a band practice until people started showing up down here. <laughs> so I had to pick up all that cement and jagged plastic real quick. And anyway, we're back to it. We got the 15 inch speaker. But something I totally forgot about here, I also have the eight inch version of this stupid thing. Fire these on. Line in. Oh yeah. Line in. <laughs> Same voice. Bluetooth connected. Now there is one important thing to mention about the 8 inch version here and that is that it's not mine to smash up. However I did make a deal with its owner, I'm allowed to take the woofer and the tweeters out, do whatever I like with those, however I do have to upgrade this for them. And that's something I wanted to do anyway. This thing is pretty bad. <laughs> this one has a crazy amount of background interference. <laughs> What the hell's... There's a piece of uh, tissue stuck in here. Oh, did I break it? There's something wiggling. The little phase plug for the piezo tweeter is wiggling around. Oh, oh, I just pushed it right in the cabinet. Well, geez. You know, <laughs> this one's not even real. But the one that was real, I was able to just push it right back in here. Looks like I broke plastic too. Maybe. Just gonna throw this over here for now. Okay, let's see what we got. I have no idea. Wow. Okay, here's our piezo horn thing. I think I broke something. Now you can definitely tell the amplifier is a lot smaller, a lot less features, and the battery is actually a single 18650. Okay, so I went ahead and took apart this piezo tweeter so we could see what's inside. And it starts off with this baffle. Here, that would go inside the horn. Next you could see a diaphragm in there, and I already kind of ruined it. <laughs> And underneath there is the piezo disc. That is typically just a little buzzer noise. So this would vibrate and run this cone. Now there's also another weird feature inside here. I've never seen this on a piezo tweeter yet. There is a copper winding around this. Although it has nothing to do with the voice coil, anything like that. It's probably some kind of crossover network type thing. I could say it's no part of the voice coil. I know that much. Anyway, if you know what's going on here, let me know in the comments section. That's sort of interesting. So just like the tweeter on the 15-inch version, this has a capacitor and a resistor on it. Here's our battery pack. Alright. And this must be the LED thing. Now that's definitely the amplifier I expect to see on a 15-inch karaoke DJ speaker. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm actually going to keep this little amplifier unit just to make something fun later on. I can actually 
do something like this, one of these uh, suitcases here, that would make an awesome little speaker. But definitely not a 15 inch cabinet like this. <laughs> it's probably also worth mentioning that this battery in here has no markings on it, no voltage written on there, no information whatsoever. Probably absolutely illegal China battery. Good two way tape though. Now something interesting about this piezo tweeter, it actually uses the same one inch thread that a real compression driver and horn would have. So you could easily upgrade this, but why would you? Yeah, nothing else in the cabinet other than this empty battery box sort of thing in the back. scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I could smell it already. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad the cameras were zoomed in because you didn't get my reaction there. and protect here. Let's reset it and see if it still works. Well that smells interesting. Nope. Safe to say that shorted right out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely locked it up. One inch voice coil. Bust on in here. <laughs> A lot of dust come out of there. Yeah, I think the whole coil is locked inside the magnet right now. Here we go. See how much copper this thing had. Not very much. Probably the least amount of copper I've ever seen in a 15 inch driver. Not a very good collection of copper at all. I can honestly say the piezo tweeter contained more copper than this 15 inch driver. All right, let's see where the piezo tweeter is. Found it. <laughs> Okay, don't try this at home, kids, but we're doing 120 volts into this stupid thing. I definitely saw, like, shards of metal flying through the air. <laughs> Glad I was on the other side of that. Toasted something, but I don't think it was the actual piezo. I'm going to try plugging into these terminals that were inside the unit. All right, let's see if this gets us anywhere. Oh, 
I still hear it. All right, so now I have this stupid eight inch speaker out of that small boom box. Let's see what we got here. You know, the coil's almost as big as the 15 inch version. Yeah, we got a three quarter inch voice coil on here when the 15 inch driver had, you know, a one inch, so it's not much bigger. Awesome. The 8 inch version lasted a lot longer than the 15. <laughs> Smelled about the same too. <laughs> Let's see what the voice coil looks like in this 8 inch. can't be all the copper there is. <laughs> Must be stuck inside here. Oh yeah, we had more copper in here. Still not very much. Wow. That really did well for the amount of uh, coil it had. We'll give it that. How cheap this thing is. Actually, you know, this frame is built better than the 15 inch version. Seems like the metal's thicker. So buying this speaker wasn't a total loss. I did end up with a couple cool parts. We have this LED sort of array of disco lights. <laughs> there is the amplifier media player thing. It also has a remote, by the way. A very flimsy remote. Oh, that, I think I broke it already. Yeah, look. Cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, got a lot of copper from those piezo tweeters. I'm actually pretty sure this was a part of the crossover element. Kind of weird though. Like I say, I've never seen these uh, with copper inside them like that. It is pretty crazy to think that this is all the technology they included in that 15 inch DJ speaker. Well, that's about it for these stupid, cheap karaoke speakers. They are a lot worse than I ever would have thought. I do not recommend buying these whatsoever, even if it's just for an iPod dock speaker. One of those little tiny JBLs, honestly, probably does double the volume this thing ever could before distortion. Just unreal how bad the quality is. I, I cannot believe this thing. So in conclusion, this is in no way of the quality compared to real DJ equipment or karaoke equipment. There's just no comparison here. This thing is such poor quality, I wouldn't even use it like I don't, as a little work radio. It's, it's bad. It's uh, really just a little cheap Chinese iPod music player thing packaged in a DJ speaker sort of cabinet. The brittleness of the plastic and the way the handle broke off instantly, that's just pathetic. I will have to say though, whatever cabinet they copied, there's at least a lot of handles on the thing. It kind of looks like a DB acoustics or something. So now I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment question of the day. What is your opinion of headphones? I have these Allen & Heath X1s and really, I don't like headphones at all. I can't stand them. I can't even talk wearing those things. <laughs> so, what is your opinion on headphones? Do you rather just use speakers like me, or are you stuck with these darn things? <laughs> well, that's about all for now. Don't forget to drop a comment, like the video, or subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm up to. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.